Hi, here's some thoughts about near-death experience and brain death, okay? When a near-death experiencer comes back, some come back within seconds, some come back within minutes, and in some cases, some came back after more than just a few minutes. There are cases that have been reported and studied that are way beyond the so-called brain death time frame. So if you look it up, brain death is somewhere between three and six minutes of the heart not beating anymore. That means no oxygen is delivered to the brain to help to uphold the functions of the brain and brainstem. So let's go with the upper limit that we can read in some journals, six minutes, six minutes of no heart beating, no oxygen. Your brain ceases with all the functions that it's supposed to do. And of course, as well, all the senses that the inputs from all our senses that are processed and then have an output and creates the reality that we think we are in, in the physical reality. So they're all gone. So that's where it becomes interesting. If we would say that after six minutes, the brain is dead, we can measure it. There's no electricity going back and forward. There's no activation, uh, activity, sorry. That means there are as well no processes to process inputs like from our senses. But that's where it becomes interesting. How about those that have been dead for 30 minutes, the brain was not working anymore, and they came back. And their brains recovered fully. So against all the medical um, work out there, understanding of brain death, this should not be happening. This should not be possible. I'm sure there are some explanations to that on the physical and the psych uh, uh, physiological part of the brain. But still, if somebody comes back after 30 minutes and the brain recovers fully, that's quite a miracle. That's one part of the whole thing. The other part is that person maybe had an experience in those 30 minutes of being brain dead and reports everything, being able to see, to hear, to taste, to have all those perceptions. And when the person comes back to life and the brain back to function and works again and reports all that. You have to ask yourself, well, if the brain didn't work anymore and could not process any information, how could that person perceive anything beyond the brain's processing inputs? Here's my take. I think that we are not really processing things in the brain in a way. The brain, in my opinion, is an interface between the non-physical and physical world we live in. That means that everything we experience, like even me talking here and feeling the table and smelling maybe something, that goes through the brain, but is forwarded into whatever you want to call it, consciousness, matrix, somewhere outside of the physical brain. And that's why when we come back from a new death experience and the brain works properly again, we can access that information that is basically outside of the brain <laughs> and report. 
because the brain itself didn't do the work and didn't store the information that happened in those 30 minutes of somebody being dead on the other side, but still collected information and could report it after that person came back. So my take here is, I see the brain basically only as the interface between different systems. Okay. So in order to have the physical body and the physical world working, we are depending, we de depend on information flow from the other side, from other frequency layers. And this explains many of such cases, in my opinion. The brain is an interface. And once we pass over, we don't have the brain anymore. So we are in those other territories in the Earth-wise system. And we have another interface. An interface that works there. But still, if we have people that are functioning as a medium or remote viewing or still whatever you want to call it have an access from here the physical area to the non-physical parts on the other side those interfaces work with each other the only difference is here on the physical world we have certain laws and rules applied and in the other sections of the earth life system different rules apply even gravity in a way is probably applied in a different way interesting thoughts isn't it i want you to think about that for a moment and um, open up for a more expanded view of existence here in your life system.